This is our attack to Mars, and quite frankly, I'm furious. Uh, here's a story from Washington Times. Apparently, the looters of uh, Ferguson, Missouri, these were paid looters. And apparently, they're complaining because they didn't get paid their $5,000 a month. So, let me get this straight. They go out, protest, loot, and burn, and they get paid $5,000 a month to do this. Uh, you better get the kids out of there because language is likely to be a little on the raw side here. Um, this is, I discuss, this is, I, I have no words. This is so evil that it's beyond belief. Front Page Magazine reports that Missourians organiz organizing for reform and empowerment more has been paying protesters $5,000 a month to demonstrate in Ferguson. What I under from what I understand, this uh, goes back to George Soros. The, uh, he's a Nazi sympathizer, gazillion billionaire and all this. He's an evil, evil man. So all this, the destruction of these cities is paid. It's not... These aren't a bunch of peaceful protesters, as we're being told by the media. Of course they're not. They've destroyed two fucking cities so far. I hope the kids are out of the room. they destroyed two cities so far. Uh, Ferguson and Baltimore. If this doesn't infuriate you, I don't know what will. I'm going to show you the website. This is a website uh, for that Moore group. Now, make no mistake about it. What are we seeing here? What we're seeing here is organized crime. Organized crime. These are criminals. This is organized crime advertising freely on the Internet. Let's say Al Capone had computers back then, which they didn't, and was able to do this. Al, so Al Capone takes on a website and actively promotes his uh, endeavors. Uh, now hiring hitmen to wipe out, to kill Shaggy the Goof or something for $10,000. What are you... There's no fuck, fucking difference. This Moore is hiring people to burn down cities. They've hired people to burn down Ferguson, Missouri. This is a criminal organization. Uh, apparently it's an offshoot of ACORN, which is a criminal organization. This is organized crime, people. It needs to be looked at like that. And everyone associated with this website, in my opinion, should be sent to prison for the rest of their natural lives without parole. I, that includes webmasters, web designers. Far as I'm concerned, if it up to me, they would all be in prison for the rest of their natural lives and they would never see the daylight again. That's how you clean this type of thing up. These are criminals, folks. They're nothing more than criminals. Freest Israel, Britain, I don't know what that's all about. Let's see. Well, he's one of the looters and he uh, got arrested, so they want to get one of their employees out of uh, jail. Here's some of their agenda. Shut down workhouse, abolish municipal courts and bench warrants. Wonderful. Monthly support group for arrestees facing felonies. 
when they should be in the slam room. Drop charges for the protesters. Know your rights, training, political education, outreach, recruitment. This is organized crime. There's no difference here. If the mafia advertised on the internet, there's no difference between that and this. There's no difference here. Period. In the subject. This is organized crime. They went in to Missouri. They pay these people to go in. Protest, burn, and loot the city. This is cut and dried. Like I said, as far as I'm concerned, every single damn last person associated with this website, for up to me, would spend the rest of their natural lives in prison. Every single damn last one. Including the website designers, including the webmaster, everyone. That's if it were up to me. That's how you clean this mess up. I don't know how you can not be infuriated by this. Let's see uh, what the donate button says. I'm not going to obviously contribute. But we're going to take a look at the donate button and see... Uh, Well, I'm glad that uh, PayPal doesn't process their donations. They do it through uh, credit card, apparently. This is outrageous. You see, if you... Uh, Donate to these people, you're donating directly to a mafia-like organization. These are criminals, nothing more. They burned the city, that makes some criminals. Let's take a look at some of the names here of people who have donated to this site, according to them. I don't have time to go down the entire list, but... Henriette Wilberg... Donad, Jasmine Thana Donad, Billy Marino Donad, Matthew Martinez Donad, Whitney Walker Donad, James Wagner Donad. They all donated. There's just a huge number of people who donated to this organized crime website. Missourians organizing for reform and empowerment. This is a criminal website. They should be in prison as far as I'm concerned. I'm not backing away from that for anyone. Why are they allowed to operate openly? Why are they not in prison? I just do not understand why not seeing justice. Sorry about that. It's a video that uh, was popping up in this thing. Washington Times article. Something about carrier flights. Why are they not in prison? I just don't understand why these scumbags are not rounded up. They go and destroy a city, and they're allowed to walk scot-free. Webmaster, 99 years prison. Website designers, 99 years prison. And right on down the line, every single one of them. I just don't understand this. How can organized crime be allowed to operate? These are extortionists. At least in Al Capone's case, he offered... Uh, he ran the speakeasies, speakeasies and stuff. At least he offered a product. These 
scumbags don't offer any product. They just take donations and they loot and burn cities. I don't understand what's going on with this country. It's so corrupt, it's beyond belief. Something has got to happen. This has got to be stopped, people. Wake the hell up. 